This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Dragoonity combo tutorial video, but this time is going to be focusing on link format, link summoning mechanic, all that sort of nonsense. What you should be starting to do with your play structuring if you want to play this deck post link format when link summoning is implemented into the game, and of course, as you are probably aware, a lot of things change. Now, unfortunately, right now at the time of me making this video, the only decent like link monster that we can use in Dragoonity combos is Decode Talker. And Decode Talker is a little bit resource intensive, requiring three monsters to utilize. Now, two would have been fine and is usually easily implementable in like any Dragoonity combo. You can usually get rid of two monsters pretty easily in a Dragoonity combo, but three is kind of a stretch. So instead of trying to link summon, although you can link summon in some of these combos, it's not really that optimal. And so what we're going to be doing instead is we're going to be focusing on ways to actually function the combos around the fact that you only have one extra deck monster zone rather than trying to summon Decode Talker itself. Now, if we hit a generic Link 2 in the future that has, you know, like Link markers that point down or down diagonal or whatever and it's just a Link 2 that's generic, then we can obviously start looking at some expandable possibilities for Dragoonies in that, like, essence of the format or area because of the ability like that we'd have to throw two monsters into a, a card that would open up more zones for us instead of three. Now I'm going to show you how to make Decode Talker in this video, but it's definitely not what I think the optimum combo is for uh, for the certain situation. But So what I'm going to be showing you today is what you do with Ravine Phalanx Mistleton post Link Mechanic taking hold. Now previously, this would do a lot of different things in terms of what you had access to with your unrestricted extra deck being able to vomit out as many things into zones as possible. Now unfortunately, Mistleton becomes like the MVP and you can't really rely on things like Garuda or Instant Fusion for Mavalis or anything like that post link mechanic because obviously you can't put Vajrayana and Gaydurg on the board at the same time. Mistleton becomes incredibly important uh, in terms of uh, it's the only real extender that allows you to go like forward with your plays outside of things like uh, Hieratic Dragon uh, Tefnuit and things like that. But anyway, uh, the first combo I'm going to show you is how you can make Decode Talker uh, with these three cards and still end with a board, and then I'm going to show you what I believe the optimum combo to do instead is. So you're going to activate Dragon Ravine, you're going to discard your Phalanx, and you're going to add your Ducks to hand, and then you're going to Normal Summon your Ducks, you're going to Special Summon your Phalanx, you're going to Tribute the Phalanx to Special Mistleton, special the phalanx back again off of the equip on the mistleton and then you're going to synchro with your ducks and your phalanx into your gator which is going to be up in your extra monster zone post link mechanic it doesn't matter which zone you pick um for this specific like combo uh you're just going to be putting it in your extra monster zone it's going to occupy that space so then you're going to use gator's effect and you're going to add and discard zephyros and then you're going to overlay the mistleton and the gator into the extra monster zone into your Hieratic Dragon King of Atum, which is also in your extra deck monster zone. So your main monster zones are completely void of monsters at this point. So you're going to detach the Gaedurg from your Hieratic Dragon King of Atum, and you're going to special summon the Darkness Metal into your main monster zone. And now, because you're reviving from the graveyard, you can start bringing back Synchros into your main monster zone, and because they're being summoned from the graveyard, not the extra deck. So you use Red Med to bring back the, uh, the uh, Gatorg back to your main monster zone so you can work with it from there. And you're going to use Gatorg's effect to add a baby rock to your hand and then discard the baby rock. And then off of that, your baby rock is going to special summon itself. And now from here, you have the Zephyros engrave, which you can then use to bounce the darkness metal to your hand to special summon the Zephyros from your graveyard. And now from here, you're just going to banish the Atum and you're going to vacate your extra monster zone and you're going to place the red med back in your main monster zone so the atom is gone and your extra deck monster zone is completely open and free to use again now from here what uh, what you have capabilities of doing it really honestly depends on if you had a further extender in your hand like if baby rock was like the fourth card in your hand you could have added garuda and discarded baby rock and then it'd be on the board and then you'd have a further extender in the form of like garuda or something 
But in this instance, assuming we just had Ravine Flank Mistleton, you can use these three cards, the Zephyros, the Baby Rock, and the Gaederg, to go into a Link Summon of Decode Talker. And so, if you if you did it correctly, your Red Med should be in your Link to Zone that is pointed to by Decode Talker, so like, you can have some targeting prevention there. But this Darkness Metal hasn't used its effect yet since we've resummoned it. So we're going to use the Darkness Metal's effect to bring back that Gaederg once again. And then we're going to use Gaederg uh, for a second, or a third time, not second time, jeez. Um, a second revival, third time using it in general, uh, to add and discard another copy of Miss Valley Baby Rock to our graveyard. And then we're going to special the Baby Rock, and then you're going to synchro with the Gaederg and the Baby Rock into either Stardust Dragon, Crystal Wing, what have you. Crystal Wing is probably just the better choice. Um, just gives you a defensive line to work with. But so, so off of your Ravine Phalanx Mistleton, you get a Crystal Wing that's in one of the linked zones off Decode Talker. Uh, you could either summon the Red Med in one of your linked zones so that you have like a thing to send off targeting, or what's probably more preferable is to just arrange it to where your Darkness Metal is not in one of your linked zones. That way, next turn, you could like put a Vajrayana into a Stardust here or something like that. There's definitely a lot of uh, capabilities you have there, but so this wasn't very economical. Um, you don't end with a lot in terms of what your resources is. Like the Deco Talker doesn't really do much for you, um, as far as like opening up your like resource pool in terms of you get one extra zone, yeah. But like the Crystal Wing kind of has to die and then come back to open up another zone. So like making this Deco Talker was kind of a waste. So instead, I'm going to show you what I think you should be doing instead of trying to summon Deco Talker. And so what that requires is to rewind the clock a bit. All right, so taking it from the top, Ravine Phalanx Mistleton as your three-card combo. This is what I believe you should be doing post-link format hitting for this three-card combo to function in an optimal sense and get full value out of your cards that you're utilizing. So obviously you're going to discard Phalanx, add Ducks to hand. You're going to normal summon Ducks, get your Phalanx back, special your Mistleton, do the exact same thing we did in the first combo. Synchro these away into your Gaederg, into your extra deck monster zone. The Gaederg is going to add Zephyros, and then you're, you're going to overlay the Mistleton with the Gaederg into your Atum in the extra monster zone. You're going to detach Gaederg again, very important that you detach Gaederg specifically, and you're going to get the Darkness Metal out of your deck. And then Darkness Metal here is going to special summon the Gaederg again. You're going to use Gaederg's effect here to add and discard Mist Valley Baby Rock, which will then special summon itself. And then you're going to bounce the Darkness Metal to your hand to special summon Zephyros from your graveyard. And then you are going to the Atum, the Atum, let the Mistleton fall off into the graveyard to summon the Darkness Metal from your hand as well. So we're back to the point where we were right before we made Decode Talker in the previous combo. And so, Decode Talker isn't that optimal. Like I said, if it was a Link 2 that we had access to, in terms of a generic Link 2 that pointed down to two spaces, then it would be easier for us to, you know, justify and manage, because then we'd be able to, like, put Zephyros and the Baby Rock into it, and then like continue our combo string with other stuff, leaving the Gaederg here, doing other things. But really what we don't have access to at this point is something like that for now. So what we have to do instead to make these combos optimal is we have to start playing around with what we're going to be doing with keeping our extra deck monster zone open. So what we're going to do specifically is that instead of making Deco Talker and in, in basically in essence wasting a resource, we're going to synchro with the Gaederg and the Miss Valley Baby Rock into... Cyframe Lord Omega. Cyframe Lord Omega takes a huge, huge front seat in a lot of our in a lot of our gameplay and mechanic-wise like focuses with Dragoonities until we get a good Link 2 to use, because of the fact that like Omega when it uses its effect it vacates your extra monster zone and then when it comes back during your next standby phase it can come back to your main monster zone so you can constantly keep that zone clear. Now, making this instead of Decode Talker, one, it only takes two resources, so again, that same thing where we could have afforded to put two monsters into a Link 2, but not three into a Decode Talker. But also, instead of making something like Decode Talker that just sits there and doesn't really do much, with Omega, you're able to banish it, take a card out of your opponent's hand, get information about the game that, before they've even taken a turn, and then during your next standby phase, it comes back and it's still a resource. Uh, so you're not losing any resources. So you summon Omega, and you're going to use its effect to banish itself into the next standby phase. Take a card out of your opponent's hand, see what they're playing. Now from here, the Darkness Metal hasn't used its effect since you've resummoned it, so you're going to special summon Phalanx from your graveyard instead of Gaederg. And then you're going to synchro with the Vajrayana that's left out into a or into the uh, Vajrayana. You're going to synchro with the Zephyros into Vajrayana. The Vajrayana is going to re-equip Phalanx, you're going to special summon the Phalanx, 
and then you're going to synchro with this again and now your options here to go into are either another Cyframe Lord Omega to go ahead and like vacate the extra monster zone again and just leave Darkness Metal out or you can make Crystal Wing or you can make Stardust in your extra monster zone. Now the thing is is making Stardust or Crystal Wing they're both equally as powerful in terms of what they do. Crystal Wing is obviously more of a defensive line card uh, it's very strong in that aspect and you're gonna have two other cards in your hand alongside whatever you just did so you have other potential back row options as well uh, if crystal wing dies by any means if it gets baited out and then gets killed by some reason uh, and sent to your graveyard darkness metal can revive it it will go back to your main monster zone because that is how the mechanic operates in terms of link summoning and the master rule set if you summon stardust in place of crystal wing synchro dragon just to be a protection from like board wipes or things like that or if like you have two back row you want to set and you don't want to get blown up by twin twister that's very very much a possibility the stardust if it negates a destruction effect and goes to the graveyard and then goes to special summon itself in the end phase it special summons itself to the main monster zone both stardust and omega if they return to the field by their own effects they go into the main monster zone and that is one of the most important things we need to worry about with dragoonities in the link format era because of the fact that we are going to be trying to keep that one extra deck monster zone open and free to use as much as possible. Whenever you're bringing back synchros from anywhere that's not the extra deck, then they go into the main monster zone. And that's fantastic for how we need to start structuring things. So instead of making Deco Talker like the first combo, I believe it's much more optimal for you to be making Cyframe Lord Omega banishing it to take a card out of your opponent's hand that they can't they can't use during their next turn so it's still a resource for you and then making either stardust or crystal wing in extra deck monster monster slot basically uh stardust might be the more valuable one but again crystal wing it can stay there it can occupy the zone even if it dies for any like reason you can bring it back with darkness metal it will also go into your main monster zone vacating the zone uh the thing is that crystal wing is going to apply a lot more pressure um, during following turns, you're going to be able to use Darkness Metal to bring back your Gaydurg to not really do any Synchro Ladder plays if the Crystal Wing is still in your zone, uh, but you are going to be able to just amass large amounts of advantage on the board in terms of your Omega comes back, you can banish it again, uh, you can just have the uh, Dark the uh, Gaydurg out here uh, just chilling as a big monster. You've got things like that as possibilities. You basically start playing them in a different focus, a different spiel, a different, different swing, uh, it plays a little bit more more like a beatdown deck when you're actually like, just doing it. Because like you open Ravine uh, Ravine Phalanx, you're probably just going to make Stardust and pass turn. <laughs> like there's different things like that just that just implement how they uh, function in the game state. But anyway, that is what this video was about. Was about Link summoning the basic Dragoonie combo, the basic three card Dragoonie combo for Link summoning of what I believe is the most optimal way to deal with it until we get a good generic Link two. Now, be be for, be like uh, be mindful of the fact that we could be playing cards like Blackwing uh, Gofu in the main deck to be like a fourth combo piece. If you start your combo with Gofu, that means you started your combo with Decode Talker, and then all of the three card combos previously just do what they did before because you have two extra deck spots open that you can utilize. But there's a few different ways that we can play the deck without relying on Gofu. So it's definitely not like a, uh, a one trick, like you have to draw Gofu or you can't play the deck sort of thing. You just have to be mindful of how we're doing things. And Omega is one of the most important cards in that, uh, in that sort of uh, era of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Omega is going to vacate your extra monster zone for you, maintain your resources, and do all that sort of stuff. Come back and be a beater that is util usal usable to kill your opponent, essentially. It's really late. I'm tired. I'm slurring my speech a lot. But anyway, that is all for this video. As always, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I have got a few more Link Format Dragoonity videos to film and do stuff with and stuff like that. So we will definitely be exploring that a little bit in the future. But anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. But as always, links are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, support something that you like, then definitely go check out the Patreon page if you want to get access to my personal Discord server where me and many other people chat and play games on a regular basis. Whenever I do dual videos, I go to those people for people to film for games, all that sort of stuff. If you're interested in any of those things or if you just want to support the channel with something as small as a dollar to just show your support and help future projects come into fruition a bit faster, then definitely go check out the Patreon page. Every little bit helps and I would have my greatest amount of appreciation towards any of you and all of you that currently also are part of that Patreon page because it helps out a lot. But other than that, 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, all that sort of nonsense. If you're new here and are not subscribed and like the content you see and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content, then maybe consider subscribing. Love to welcome you to the community and to the family around this channel, basically. Uh, this is just a community base where we just all just sort of talk to each other in some sort of weird way, I guess. But anyway, I am losing my mind because it's 2 a.m. and I'm filming this video to go live tomorrow. But anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching. That is it for this video. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll show you some more Dragoonity Link format combos in the future. But for now, ta-ta!